Okay, that's Heart. Our concert tonight, Heart. <laughs> and even Julie said, I've heard some of those songs. I have heard some of those songs. I really like that group. Anyway, we are digging and digging and digging down for the concerts. I think I found, do you know who Prince was? Oh, absolutely. I think I found a <laughs> Prince concert for one of our shows coming up. Yeah, and we haven't had him on. So, Dylan, how much longer can I go with fresh concerts? What's the guess? Can I make it to show 100 with fresh concerts? Another, what is that, uh, 13 shows? I think there's plenty out there. Yeah, Dylan, Dylan thinks yeah. there's plenty of concerts. We're going to keep going so we don't have to do any repeats. But if there's one that you guys want to see again, I, you can always email me at gary at cambytv.com. Anyway, this gentleman has been here before. And I am so happy to have him back because years ago there was a cartoon called Crusader Rabbit. Well, this guy <laughs> is our crusader for Monterey. He's going to get rid of those guys talking about roundabouts on 68. He is spending all we his hope. time working on it. Dwight Stump is in the house. Hey. Hey, thank you, thank you. Okay. Good to be here again. Yeah, yeah good to, be, to have you back. And listen, lots of stuff has been going on since he was here before. You know, they actually he had some signs up. Mm -hmm. and, and Caltrans actually went and took one of the signs down. Tell yeah. us that story. <laughs> what happened? Well, it was up there right at Pasadero on 68. And uh, all of a sudden, the, the guy's property, who I had it on, permission to put it on, said it's gone. And I'm going, well, that's really strange. And so, yeah, there it is. And <laughs> so uh, I thought, well, Caltrans must have taken Nobody else would have Yeah, why it. would anybody else take so it I, down? So I thought, well, you know, they must have a maintenance yard around here. Yeah. So I got the maintenance yard address and, and uh, went over there and talked to some people who said, uh, yeah, we did take it down. Uh, and I said, well, why? Yeah. Uh, oh, that's not, I didn't make the decision, my boss did. Yeah. So uh, we finally got to the boss and I said, well, you know, where is the sign? Do you still have it? And I'm not sure you can look around. And so I looked around and I saw some pieces in the back over by a dumpster. And, and so then I said, well, the, the, the uh, structure is there, but the sign isn't. The sign is so is it in the dumpster? Demolished. Yeah. So they, they had actually a couple of the guys go in the dumpster, pull it out from the bottom, oh, and apologetically man. clean it off as much as they could. So I took it home, cleaned it off, put it back up, and it it's did. still up there today. Oh, so. my goodness gracious. Well, save the sign. Yeah, so save the sign. Anyway, Dwight is a retired professional who previously had a company that conducted national medical conferences throughout the United States. He moved from Danville to Corral de Tierra area in 2010 to enjoy the Monterey Peninsula in a country setting. So he's the guy that read about nine proposed roundabouts on Highway 68. So you just decided to look into it. Mm -hmm. And what did you discover? Well, I discovered that they were making false statements. Tamsi and Caltrans were making false statements in their, quote, fact sheet. And uh, I go, well, that's not kosher. That's, you know... People believe them. They're supposed to be, you know, reputable, uh, you know, very highly trained professionals. Yeah, yeah. And so when I saw that and questioned them, they didn't have good answers. And, in fact, sometimes they admitted that they really didn't have any data to back up their statements. And so it got me more spurred on, talked to the fire chief of Monterey County, and we found out that some of their uh, statements, particularly on the ones that say that roundabouts will decrease the emergency response time, were absolutely false. Yeah. And so that got me going and was like, now let's do some research. So what other alternatives would you have to roundabouts? Yeah. So just, what can we do? Yeah. So I just started Googling, and I thought, well, all this stuff that is out in the news on AI, there must be something that AI is contributing to dealing with traffic signals so that it can function better in traffic situations. And so found some information and started digging on that and tried to get Tamsi and Caltrans to go along and look at it as well. So but you found in a study somewhere where AI is now being used mm -hmm. to control traffic back east. Exactly, yeah. It had been uh, going on since 2012 in Pittsburgh with great results, but Caltrans admitted that they are not the highly technical, uh, you know, they don't, they don't want to look at brand new things. They like the old tried and true stuff. And here's the and part so. here's the part that got me. This is the part that got me. How much is it going to cost to build oh, nine roundabouts? <laughs> well, Dwight? over 200 million. 
two hundred million. million. That's today's. Dollars. That's today's money. Today's and by the dollars. time they get around to it, it'll probably be you know two fifty to two or, or three hundred million. Yeah, yeah because exactly. it's going to take a lot of time if they would build these roundabouts. But mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. this AI technology, you guys have heard a lot about AI. This technology looks at the whole sixty-eight highway. Mm -hmm. And it decides when that light should turn on and when that light should turn off. So it keeps the traffic flowing. And exactly. how much is this going to cost, right? Less than half a million. So Ugh. about 440000 And they can put it up in a matter of months without disrupting traffic yeah, hardly at all. You don't all. have to do any construction. Yeah, exactly. It just controls the lights. It's using the existing signals. My but goodness. it's putting the technology and the software and the cameras to do all of the great things that AI does. My goodness so. gracious. Well, you live in Corral de Tierra mm -hmm. and you didn't want to be yeah. inconvenienced by the construction exactly. that was going to happen at every one of those sites that they were going to put in the roundabout. Right, exactly. And, and everybody else, too. Plus, the 200 million tax dollars, I think, could be used for potholes and some other things that are highly, uh, you know, suspect that they need to be done much, much quicker. <laughs> Who is holding the $200 million right now? Where is that money? <laughs> well, actually, they had to admit, after being pressed on it, they don't really have the $200 million. They have maybe $50 million from Measure X funds. Uh -huh. So they would have to do grants, uh, applications. They would have to try to get money. But they think, well, maybe we'll start with one or two roundabouts and then continue them on as we get more money. Uh, so that was the, the plan after they got kind of pressed uh, on where's the money. So, the, so. so the, the, the money right now to do the mm -hmm. AI... It's already here. We have right. the. Oh, you have the money. Yeah, we have the money for that. Yeah. He's all they have to say is we approve it. All they have to say is Caltrans. Okay, you're in charge of that corridor. That you can approve it. TAMC can help with funds if Caltrans doesn't have the funds to do it, and they can get it up and running right away. Well, why don't we so. try that first? <laughs> well, that's what we kept trying to get the board to do. Let's so, try that first. Yes. So we kept barraging them with emails, getting up at the board meetings, doing verbal. Our, two-minute verbal uh, uh, rendition of why we think that they should be trying the AI. And they finally, finally, in April, had a uh, motion, and they voted unanimously with all of the boards of, board of directors to authorize a study, a pilot study, okay. to put all uh, nine intersections, equip it with AI signal controls. Okay. And so they... They said, Caltrans, you're the ones that have to, you know, finally approve we'll make it. That but happen. we recommend it. We re recommend so that, that happens. And then hold off on the roundabouts. Let's go see let's, if the let's AI go see works. If, absolutely. Let's and if it, if, work, it, if it works, maybe we're done. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> isn't that wonderful? Yeah. I just love A that. A lot of work to get there. <laughs> this guy, though, without Crusader here, Crusader Dwight, never would have happened. Well, I mean, see how one you. person can change a lot of things, but you got to have the stamina yeah. to fight City Hall. Yeah. Dylan, put that thing up on the screen I sent you. I want everybody to read this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you got it, I sent it to you. Well, I sent it to you in an email. And there were other people involved with it as well. In fact, I had mentioned uh, uh, Barry Jones, a person that uh, in Pasadena, because Pasadena HOA was also against the roundabouts. Of course. And uh, Barry is a uh, retired civil engineer from the UK who used to design roundabouts. Oh, my goodness. So he knew the, the pluses and minuses of roundabouts. Sure, so, from the UK, because yeah. that's the first roundabout when I went to London years <laughs> and years ago. That was the first roundabout I ever experienced. Yeah. So and he, they have a lot of roundabouts over in exactly. Europe. Exactly. So yeah. he was he was a great team member and as a number of other people he's been giving you a get, lot of support. Absolutely. It's great to have a, a team effort going up against the, yeah, the board well, of directors. You, you, so. Exactly. And you're just one guy. Here it is. No okay. matter how long you have traveled in the <laughs> wrong direction, you can always turn around. That's the message I sent to uh, the TAMC board, uh, some of the engineers at TAMC yeah. and, uh, and and Caltrans to let them know, hey, I know you spent a lot of time and money on this. You spent over two or two million dollars just to do the environmental impact report, but you can change direction. Change your mind, yeah. yeah. And it, look, everything now we're talking about AI today. Mm -hmm. 
about changing the world. It's going to change the world. Absolutely. I, I made a prediction the other day. We were talking about, you know, far out. What's going to happen in the future? I predict mm -hmm. that AI is going to let us communicate with our animals. Yeah. We're going to be able to talk. Oh <laughs> our, our dogs, they're going to be able to understand us and talk mm -hmm. to us, and then we'll transcribe it, and we'll know what they're saying to us, and they'll know what yeah. we're saying to them. I mean, that's AI. Mm -hmm. Gary, are you crazy? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, That'd AI is going to change the world. That's great. It yeah. really is. Oh, it, it, it's just phenomenal. Whatever you can imagine. Yeah. And yeah. why not use AI now to control the traffic on Highway 68? Exactly. Exactly. And, and then when you go down 68 Corral de Tierra, you're going to say, see, the light changed for mm -hmm. me. Look at that. It knew I was coming right. and knew Dwight was in that car and it changed the light for me to go to the right to go home. Exactly. And, and in the future, it can even communicate with uh, traffic with cars that are linked to it to tell the car how fast it should go so it can get through all the lights without even stopping. That so, is right no. around the corner. No. I mean, we've look at all the stuff we have. You know, I just came back from Winnemucca, no. Nevada. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Gary, what did you go do in Winnemucca, Nevada? I have a friend who's okay. in the broadcasting business. Mm -hmm. And he said, Gary, our cell phones today can do just about anything. Okay? I mean, look at all the things That's our cell phone does. Why aren't our cell phones TV receivers? Why can't you watch? Sense, yeah. Why can't you watch TV on the cell phones? It's legal. We don't have to go to the FCC to have that done. So my friend Greg Herman in Winnemucca said, "Let's go do it. Let's go get TVs available on the next generation cell phones." Qualcomm already has the chips. Rody Schwartz is building the transmitters for us to do it. Joy. <laughs> That's AI. AI. That's absolutely That's AI. It. Yeah. We're going to be able to have television. I'm in the TV yeah. business. Why shouldn't your cell phone pick up all the local TV channels? Sure. Yeah, it, it makes sense. And so why do you know, why does Caltrans and Tamsi resist technology rather than embracing it? And they're starting to, but it's it's it takes, boy, a, it's a, it takes a while. Though. Yeah, it's it a is. challenge. A little tenacity and... Uh, you but know, guys like you. Yeah, well, it's like... I, it, it's, that's it's your, something. That's, it's a, it's that's a, what I'm going to call him now. It's Crusader Rabbit here. Dwight, <laughs> Dwight Stump. He's going to change the world. <laughs> yeah, one intersection at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Dwight, thanks for coming back. Oh, Best good, of luck good to, to have you. me. Thank you. You've, you've got my uh, television station yeah. and, and uh, this show to do whatever you need to do because it just makes too much sense. Yeah. It's, it's very logical. NineRoundabouts.com for more information. Put that back up, Zilla, <laughs> Dylan. Nine Roundabouts versus Artificial Intelligence Traffic Signals. This is a website. Where can they go to, to see this website? Nine, Dwayne? yeah, it's a nine, the number nine, roundabouts.com. Okay, very simple. Good. You want to know more? This is the man. If you want to climb on the bandwagon mm -hmm. to help him in any mm -hmm. way, just, you know, if he's speaking somewhere, show up <laughs> and be there. And be in favor of this because it just makes too much sense. Absolutely. Thanks so much. Thank you. We'll Thank look you for, for Look being forward here. to some success down the road. I hope so. Yeah. And we're, we're going to get you back as you're making that success. You're coming back here and telling Absolutely. us. Absolutely. We'll take all we'll about take pictures take of pictures. the new controls. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Great. All right. Let's get back to more heart right Thank here you, on Gary. Monterey on tonight. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you.